So this is our yoga basics class. Um, we won't be using the chair much today, if at all. Okay, it's usually an option for if you don't want to get up and down on the floor. Okay, so let's go ahead and just shake things out a little bit. And start to find your mountain pose with the feet grounded, all four corners of the feet. Lift your toes, spread them out, bring them back down. Okay, so getting your alignment going here, hips over ankles, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, and turn your palms forward. Open the heart, and we're going to breathe here. Just allow the breath to settle. We're finishing up the last vestiges of the waning crescent moon before we move into full moon, uh, into new moon. So we're just going to release any final stuff that we have that we want to just leave in uh, yesterday or before that. Okay, so bring your hands to your heart. Exhale. Inhale, draw your fingertips up. And as you exhale, shh. Let your arms come down. Think about releasing, making space. Inhale, fingertips to the heart and up. And exhale, shh, release. And two more rounds. Inhale up. Just think about letting go. And last round. Now bring your hands back to your heart, turn your gaze to your fingertips, and see if you can feel a little more spacious inside. And now when the new moon rolls around, you'll be setting intentions for um, filling that space with what you want. All right, let's go ahead and shake it out a little more and get ready for our spinal series. So take your feet wider than hip width distance apart, we want to move the knees and hips to start with and the arms, get things warmed up. Just nice gentle movement here. And then come back to standing. Okay, and we're going to keep the feet slightly wider than hip width distance and let the um, knees and hips, the, the body kind of just move with the cats and cows here. Okay, so take your arms out by your side, goal post arms here, bend the elbows, inhale. And as you exhale, round forward into your cat, bring your forearms toward each other. Open up, cow. Exhale forward into your cat. And as you inhale, open up into your cow. And just move through this, feeling the opening in the shoulders in the heart, your head follows your spine, and the next time you're rounded forward, just stay here, touch your palms, your elbows might not be touching, that would be okay too. Press your fingertips up toward the sky. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring your legs together and step into closed leg mountain pose. So we've got one strong trunk here. The feet are still grounded. We inhale and exhale here. All right, now we're going to take the feet back to hip width distance apart for a more stable base as we move into our um, side to side opening. So we're going to take the arms up. If this bothers your shoulders, just bend your elbows, interlace your fingers, point your index fingers, and we're going to do some tick tocks over to the left, stretch out the right side over to the right. So we're warming up the body here. So just let it flow. Let the body open as you move. Communicating to tell you how far you should go.
All right, so now that we're a little warmer, we're going to take it over to the left. Stay here, release the arms, press the right fingertips away, and take your right shoulder behind you, shine your heart up to the sky. Come back to center, interlace your fingers, index fingers are pointing up. We're over to the right, staying here, extend the arms, press those right fingertips away, and take the left shoulder back, open the heart, come center, inhale, whew, and just drop your arms, shake things out, inhale and exhale. All right, so for twisting, we're going to have the feet mat with distance apart, and the lower body is going to move with us. So we'll go ahead and take the left arm over to the right, right arm to the left. Okay, we're twisting side to side, waking up this movement. Waking up the pets. Oh, whoa, the baby. <laughs> okay, good luck. <sighs> All right, we're starting to reach down. Remember, in any kind of downward movement, you can always choose to keep your head above your heart. You can go lower if you want. Reach and reach, twisting and come back up center, twisting. And then we're going to reach up. This is a really nice functional movement here. Reaching and twisting. Might be grabbing something out of your kitchen cabinets, right? And you need this movement. Let's come back to center and twist. And slowly bring it to a stop. Heel toe your feet back to hip width distance apart. Come into mountain pose and breathe. All right. Is she doing okay? Good. All right. All right, let's take a couple of breaths here, and we're going to work our way down. Now, remember, you might want extra padding for your knees, so have that nearby. Come to the top of your mat. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale into your swan dive. Okay, so your knees might be bent. Your legs might be straight, depends on how you're feeling right now. Remember, you might be high or low with the head. Now bring your hands to your thighs, press your hips back, and take a half lift. Bring your fingertips down and step back to down dog. So if you were using the chair for your down dog, hands would be here, you'd be here. And once we get to down dog, we're going to pedal the feet, bend one knee and then the other, alternating, pressing the heels down. Press one heel down and hold. And press the other heel down and hold. Press both heels down and hold. And come to a nice, easy seat. Okay. So if you don't... Well, let's come to seated mountain pose first. That'll be our transition pose before we head anywhere else. So we're going to come into a seated mountain pose. The legs are long, the spine is long. Okay. And we're going to gather some energy for our practice. So uh, hands out by your side, palms up, exhale. Now as you inhale, draw energy up from the earth. Touch your palms together, and as you exhale, draw that energy into your heart. All right, release, shake it out. We're going to be doing boats for our core work, okay? I will demonstrate this in, a in the chair. Let me get you started on the mat first. Bend both knees, arms forward, okay? And we're going to... Extend the right leg as we lean back and come in. Extend the left leg as we lean back and come in. Okay, so it's right and left, bringing the foot down, bringing the foot down. Okay, keep going with that. Chair, same thing. You want to make sure that you don't touch the back of your chair because that puts you in relaxation. 
We're sitting at the edge of the chair, high boat, low boat. All righty. Now, the next time you go left, you'll be even. Bring it in and shake things out. Okay, so if you're in the chair, you're going to stay with that version. If you're on the mat, keep your left foot down, take your right knee up, arms forward. If this doesn't work for you, you can always bring your right foot back down. Here we go, we're in high boat. Now we're going to extend back into low boat, come back to high boat. We'll stay on the right for four times two, three, and four. Woo! And bring it up, give the legs a little shake. Left side four times. Low, high, low, high, low, high, fourth time, up and in, and shake it out. All right, go ahead and give your legs a nice little shake here. Inhale and exhale, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to go two times right and two times left. So right knee up, <clears throat> high boat. We'll go one, up, two, up, right foot down, left knee up. We're going one, up, two, up and release. Okay, our final set is two of each, starting on the left this time. Left knee up, arms forward, two, and one. Switching to the right, two, and one, oh, and shake it out. All right, feel that? A little bit of core going on there. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to work on water wheel now to release our hips. So let's take it down. There's a lot of range of motion for the hips here, which is great. The hips release all kinds of stuff, sometimes energy, stress. Just they get gunked up from our day-to-day -day life. So let's just go ahead and release them. Two feet to the mat. Okay. All right, if you're in the chair, you're going to have your left foot planted. You're still sitting at the edge of your chair. Do the best you can. Bring your right knee in, point up, flex down. If at all possible, do these on the mat. Knee in, point up, flex down. We're making a big circle. And the next time your right knee is in, hold it in. We're going to reverse the water wheel. Flex your right foot, flex out, point up, knee in. So the hip is getting a nice range of circular motion here. Flex out, point up, knee in on the right. Keep going. And the next time your right knee is in, hold it in. Put your hand on your hamstring or your shin and let your knee open out to the right and back to center. If you're in the chair, you might just point your toes and let your leg open out and in like that. And come back to center. Okay, now straighten your left leg any amount. Take your left hand outside of your right thigh to the outside of your right leg. Extend your right arm to the side and take your right knee just past the belly button. Okay, so in the chair, just bring your knees over. And then we're going to let the right knee come farther over to the left. In the chair, cross your legs and look to the right. So you're crossing your legs, drawing them toward the left and look past your fingertips to the right. And then come back to center, draw your right ankle across your left thigh, draw your knees in, and let your legs move forward and back. 
more ways to move the hips side to side. And circle one direction and the other. Okay, now release, unwind, put two feet to the mat and let your knees gently open and close. Water wheel on the left. Right foot is grounded. Left knee in, point up, flex down, make big circles. Keep going, knee in, point up, flex down. And the next time your right, your left knee is in, hug it in, flex your left foot and reverse. Flex out, point up, knee in. All right, next time your left knee is in, hug it in. Either hold on to your hamstring or your shin or if you're in a chair, you might even put your toes down and let your left leg open out to the left and back to center. We want the body to stay straight forward and the leg to move out and back. All right, now take it center and take your right hand outside your left leg. Take your left arm out from your left shoulder. Could hold on to the chair if you're in a chair and let your left knee come just past the belly button now we're going to take this deeper let the left knee come over to the right you might even be taking your gaze out towards your fingertips come back to center have your left ankle coming across your right thigh okay so this is our basic pigeon position we're moving it a little more than, uh, and we're not holding it. Okay, so we're in a figure four and take your legs forward and back. Side to side. Circle around. Circle the other direction. Release, unwind, and gently let your knees open and close. Little butterfly wings here. Inhale and exhale. Great. We're going to come up to hands and knees. Remember to pad your knees if you want. On the chair, you'll just have your hands on the chair. Right? So we're coming to hands and knees, and we're going to be doing opposite arm opposite leg balance okay if this doesn't work for you on hands and knees you and uh you're not using a chair you can do this at the wall as well so we're going to start by squaring off the body getting everything nice and um engaged here this will use your core take your right leg up to hip height slide your left fingertips forward and your left arm by your left ear now check your hips you don't want your hips opening to the right or left you want them face straight down so we're balancing here bring your hand and knee down and we'll do it on the left left leg back hips are facing straight down right arm floats up by the ear Opposite arm, opposite leg, balance. And release. Let's float right into it. Right leg, left arm. And release. Left leg, right arm. Keeping everything steady. Good. And release. All right, let's just wiggle those hips around because we're coming to child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide apart, child's pose. Okay, if you're at the chair, 
you might be just resting like this for your child's pose. Make sure your forehead is supported. And then come into a downward facing dog. All right, and from this down dog, we're going to walk our feet forward to the hands. Bring your hands to your thighs, find a half lift, shine your heart forward, and come into a forward fold. Now pressing your feet into the earth, thinking heavy from the waist down, light from the waist up, float the arms out and up. Yes, palms touch. And hands come heart center and release. Okay, so we are going to do a sun salutation with a knee down crescent lunge. Okay, so we're coming to the top of the mat, and I just want to demonstrate uh, two quick things from the chair. Okay, so when we come into plank, you'll hear the word plank in our um, sun salutation. You're going to extend your, you're sitting at the edge of the chair, extend your feet forward, make sure you're not touching the back of your chair, and you'll feel your core engage, draw your arms forward. Then we go into a push-up, we'll take the elbows back, and then we go into a cobra, we'll take the back of the chair, shine the heart forward, okay? And then this is down dog in the chair. All righty. Oh, so knee down crescent lunge, okay? So in the knee down crescent lunge, you'll just turn to the side and get a nice stretch in your quad here. Okay, here we go. Top of the mat. You know where to find me if that wasn't clear and you have questions. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift. Bring your fingertips down. We're starting with a lunge back to the right. So in the chair, just bring your right leg back, turn to the side. Here's that knee down crescent lunge. And then we bring the arms up. Hands down, find the plank. You can keep your knees down for plank. You could be knees up. Here's that chaturanga, bend the elbows. Cobra, shine the heart forward. Down dog. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. All right, we're going to take the right leg up, take a step forward. Now bring your left knee down. So again, in the chair, just turn to the other side. Low crescent lunge, left knee is behind the left hip. Right knee is over the right ankle, low crescent lunge. Hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and bring your back foot to meet your front foot, half lift. Forward fold, float the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center. Okay, we're going to do that the same way, this time starting on the left, and that will be one round of sun salutation. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift. Fingertips down, lunge back left. Left knee down. Low crescent lunge, arms up. Hands down, plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. Down dog. You take a few breaths in down dog, just stopping to rest and reconnect. Left leg up, left foot steps forward, right knee down. We're going low crescent lunge on the right. Hands down, lift your back knee, and step together. Half lift, forward fold. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. 
and hands come heart center. All right, shake things out. If you want to use a chair for balance, go ahead and grab your chair. If you don't usually use a chair, don't use one now, okay? So the chair is just here for people who typically like to have a chair nearby to steady themselves. We'll be moving into tree pose, okay? So anytime you're using a chair, you just lightly touch. You're not leaning on it. It's a light touch. We've got the feet hip width distance apart. We need a firm base of support. So we're going to make sure the feet are grounded, lift the toes, spread them out, bring them back down. The feet are big. Okay, the legs are engaged. Everything's lined up here. And we find our drishti, a spot that isn't moving to gaze at. That helps with balance. Now let's take a nice inhale through the nose. And releasing, exhale through the mouth. All right, hands to the hips. So we'll start with the right side. Take your right heel up, turn your knee out, keep your hips forward. The knee doesn't have to go far. We want the hips forward. And um, put your right heel against your left leg. And then if you're feeling more balanced, you can take your right foot up to your left calf. Some people go as high as the thigh. And when you feel ready, take your hands to your heart. If you're using the chair for a little bit of comfort or stability, then just go ahead and have one hand. And release. All right. Other side here. Hands to hips. Remember, you might be lightly touching a chair, but try not to. Take your knee open without moving the hips back. Left heel to right leg or left foot to right calf. Hands to the heart. Gaze is steady. Tree. And release. Okay. If you uh, have other things in your tree you want to float right into them just go right ahead you do you your tree okay we're going to go through tree one more time starting hands to hips right heel up right knee out without turning the hip back right foot either stays kickstanded or comes to the left calf hands to heart yep and then at this point some people feel nice and steady or want to ba challenge their balance and take their hands up. Completely up to you. Bring it hands to heart and release. You notice that my foot was coming up and down there and that can happen in balance and that's how we train our body, right? So don't ever feel like if you're not standing perfectly still, you're not doing balance right, okay? The body has to... Do what it's going to do. Take your left knee out. We're doing tree on the left. Just float into it or take it in steps. You might still just want to know that your chair is there. Maybe you feel on this side like you can bring your arms up. Keep your gaze steady. And release. Shake it out. All right, so uh, often and typically one side behaves better than the other. You might have noticed that. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do triangle today, okay? So on the mat, you need your legs wide, so you may want to turn so that your feet will still be on the mat. Legs wide, which means if you take your arms out, your feet will be finding themselves, your ankles will find themselves under your wrists. In triangle, the legs stay straight. We're turning the right legs out to the, the right toes out to the right, left toes in at an angle, the body faces forward, and we've got the arms out, okay? We're gonna reach and release, reach and release, reach and release. Now reach, 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 take your right arm down. Left arm can stay on the hip if that's better for you, or it can go up and you want the shoulders stacked, okay? Shoulders are stacked. 
triangle, bring it up, bring hands to hips, and change legs. So your left toes now go forward. This one I'm going to show in the chair. Left toes are now forward, right toes are back at an angle, arms are out. It's, you can't sit with your uh, back leg straight, so your knee is going to be bent. Now reach and release, reach and release, reach and release. Now reach, reach, reach. Let your left hand come down, right hand to the hip or to the sky triangle. Try and keep your shoulders stacked. Come on up, hands to hips. All right, turn your toes forward, keep your legs wide, and come into a forward fold. Yep, and take this forward fold as low as you want. Bring your hands to your legs and move around a little bit. And then roll it up. Okay, let's heel toe those feet together, shake things out, and we're going to do it again. Okay, so we'll do the triangle again without the reach and release. We're going to come into triangle. So here we go. The legs are wide. Right toes to the right, left toes in at an angle. Arms are out in line with the shoulders, and we reach, 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 keeping the shoulders stacked. The right hand comes gently to the right leg. Left arm is up toward the sky or hand to hip. Okay, and take a look at your right toes, then look to center, then look for your right fingertips if they're up or just look up toward the sky. Yes, and come up. Okay, bring your hands to your hips, turn your left toes to the left, right toes in at an angle. Float the arms out, reach, 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 triangle on the left. Okay, so we turn the left, we turn the palm out so that the hand rests gently on the leg, not pressing into it. Come into your triangle, gaze towards your left toes, toward the center of your space, and challenge your balance by bringing your gaze up to the sky. All right, arms up hands to hips let's turn the toes out this time bend at the knees bring the hands to the thighs we're going to take the right shoulder toward the left left shoulder toward the right right shoulder left left shoulder right right shoulder left left shoulder right and then come center and then just Enjoy your forward fold. Let your legs and hips move. We want to make sure everything's nice and loose now. Check in with your body, what needs to move, and then start to make your way back up. Heel toe your feet together. We're going to find mountain pose. We'll touch the feet together and stand tall. And breathe here. Just notice what's happening in your body. All the work you did, all the great things that you've done for yourself during your practice so far. All right, now loosen up. Look around your space. We're going, we're going to be coming down and eventually into final relaxation. So if you want to have something to cover up, with for final relaxation, bring that into your space. <clears throat> okay. All right. If you're finishing up in the chair, you're going to sit very mindfully. You're not just going to plop into your chair. Okay. So work your way to the chair. Inhale, float your arms up from the top of your mat if you're standing. Exhale, swan dive. Take a half lift, fingertips down, and step back to down dog. Let your hips move side to side. Bring your knees down and find seated mountain pose. Sit up nice and tall. And we're going to do a spine elongation um, breath here. Okay, so bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, fingertips up. 
Turn your palms out and as you exhale, press the crown of your head toward the sky. Thinking about lengthening the spine, even as your arms come down, fingertips touch. Bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale one more time, fingertips up. Turn your palms out. Press up as you bring your arms down. And release, shake out your legs. Now let everything be soft. We're going to melt into a little forward fold. Roll your hands up. And one more time, we're melting into a nice soft forward fold, just enjoying a little bit of a hamstring stretch here, a little bit of being by, with ourselves as forward folds allow that to happen. Okay, bring that up, shake your legs out. We're gonna roll down <coughs> in the chair. You're sitting nice and square, still at the edge of your mat, uh, at the edge of your chair here. Inhale and exhale. We'll take the right knee in, hold on to the shin or hamstring, and extend your left leg, whatever amount it allows. All right, now switch sides. Bring your left knee in. Extend that right leg any amount. Holding shin or hamstring. We're going to switch back to the right knee now. Extend the left leg and point and flex that right foot. Circle the right ankle. Circle it the other way. Switch to the left, left knee in, point and flex. Circle one direction and the other. And release. Take a nice long stretch. Inhale. If you're in the chair, just take a nice forward fold. If you're on the mat, draw both knees in and give yourself a hug. Now bring your feet down. Take your feet mat width distance apart. Okay, so about three feet if you're in the chair. Take your arms out from your side, out from the side, and let your knees go side to side with your head going in the opposite direction. Windshield wipers. All right, and now come back to center. Bring your feet back to hip width distance apart and extend through your fingers, wiggle into a gentle fist. Extend and wiggle those fingers. Rotate the wrists one direction and the other. All right, bring your arms down, scan your body from head to toe. See if anything wants to move or wiggle around as you find your way to your final relaxation position in the chair. You sit all the way back and now start to relax your back, your back against the support of the chair. Okay, on the mat, you might have your knees bent. You might have your legs straight. Coming into our most important pose of the practice, final relaxation, where the body gets a chance to absorb the benefits of the work you've done. Inhale through the nose. And slowly exhale, releasing your body into the support of the earth. And now we just let the breath flow naturally. Any thoughts that might want to come along, just put them on a cloud and let them float away. You can get back to them later. Just be in final relaxation.
Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch long as you inhale and exhale. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side and back up to a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice. Thank and honor the baby for cooperating so Grandma could finish her practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste. Hi. Oh.